Right, so when I bought the lathe, it came with a load of bowl blanks. Uh, ones like this, uh, spotted beach blank. And someone paid money for it, apparently. Um, but it's got this wax coating on the outside to stop it drying out quite so quickly. And so I've cut blanks and not done it before out of some waste Douglas fir, that one. Um, there's bits of eucalyptus. But this time I want to cut some blanks and seal the edges and see how they dry in comparison. Because uh, sometimes I don't bother doing anything at all. And this is a really nice plum, I think it is. Um, and it dried really well and it turns really lovely bowls. Uh, but we're going to try and do it properly. And so we're going to take a log and turn it into some proper bowl blanks and then seal the edges. So this is the one I had in mind. I've got uh, two full rounds and a crotch piece of wood and we're going to prepare them for the lathe. The crotch probably won't get done like the other two but we're going to try and get some proper bowl blanks out of these because they turned lovely bowls if you check out my wool bowl turning video. And obviously I've had them a little while but not too long and there's a little check mark starting to appear here in the pith. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut a strip out the middle so that we can have some little tiny dishes come out of that and then we've got two sides, four bowls and my lathe can do about eight inch turning so this length is just over so we'll leave it at that length as a blank and then it can be cut down further when it comes to actually turning it and it will probably shrink a little bit when it dries. Please bear with me, I need a bigger saw. Right, so this one's got a, a crotch, it's where two branches met. So the tree grew up here, one went this way, one went this way. And in here, there's normally a lot of swirly patterns, which are really cool. Kind of want the bowl to be from there down to, to there. I'm not entirely sure how much we'll get. I'll go and get my bowl gauge, size gauge, and we'll cut bits off it and tell us about the right size. This will continue the trim up on the bantle. In fact, all of these, we're going to trim up on the bantle next and get rid of the rest of this bark, or a lot of it, and then draw our circles on it using our gauge so that we can have a nice round piece of wood. But yeah, uh, I made mess too. It's unimportant. Yeah, so, but we're going to draw a circle around this with a nice soft pencil. And that gives us a line. And what we want to do is we want to cut as much of this material off as possible.
So you can see now we've gone most of the way around. This knot is going to be something we have to be aware of whenever we're turning. But on the whole, now we just need to put some sealant around the open ends, which is all the way around really, to help slow its drying out in the shed. So let's go to the workbench. Right, so I've got my melted wax in here, which has collected all the sawdust off the inside of the pot. And we're just gonna add a little bit of this. Two lower drops. Give it a bit of a mix up, nice and warm. And we're just gonna apply it to the workbench. The workbench will cool it down nice and quickly. And it will give us some indication that's a lot better. That would chip up before, before adding the, the uh, white spirit. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to paint the outside of the log on black. So there's not anything pretty to look at at the end of this week. Uh, this is more of the potential of something pretty to look at. So, but we've got some nice bulb blanks, hopefully, and these square blocks. I'll probably turn into tool handles or something similar to that once they've dried out a bit. Uh, but it's going to be a while before you see any of these turned. So if you want to see this wood being turned green, then check out this other video that's on screen shortly now sometime um, and please remember if you want to see something random every week and sort of like my content then please remember to subscribe to the channel because it really helps the channel grow and I will see you next week.